You can you can feel electricity uh, in the. Uh, in the uh, gym, it's absolutely incredible. These uh, athletes are in, so inspiring, and uh, it's just an incredible place to be. This is the place to be tonight. And we'll be all over this community tomorrow. We'll be playing at 10 different sites. Uh, we'll be playing basketball, both full court and half court, and individual skills. We have great partners and great sponsors. We have over 1,000 athletes here in here from about 80 teams. Teams come from all over the state of Virginia, so it's not just a Fredericksburg group. There are teams from the beach, teams from Northern Virginia, teams from Southwest Virginia, and teams from South side Virginia so teams come from all over and it's really like coming home to Fredericksburg because the Fredericksburg community led by Tim Doyle one of the great volunteers in this community is one of the great homes of Special Olympics and when you get uh, great sponsors like Geico or when you get great law enforcement partners like the Stafford Sheriffs or when you get great partners like News Talk Radio and you guys it's really really wonderful to come to Fredericksburg to do this event. This you talk about unified basketball, what a, what a great idea. Well, the unified model is really great because when you're a teammate, it's a totally different experience than when you're a volunteer. It's interactive, it's relationships, and all of our expansion into the schools all over the state of Virginia is all unified, and that's really what we're trying to do in Special Olympics Virginia, is build the first unified generation so that when you step into the environment of Special Olympics and have the Special Olympic experience, it's a unified, integrated experience. Everyone is one great equity. The truth of the matter is they are they, they have a bigger impact on us than we do on the athletes. For us to be a part um, is absolutely incredible. It's such a, it's such a wonderful organization and for us to be a part of it, uh, it's an incredible feeling. And I can tell you, um, when everybody comes together for such a such a good event, it just warms your heart. And to watch athletes um, have such a wonderful time and to be part of a team and uh, to be able to get out and, and to do their best and grow, it's just an amazing, amazing time. Well, and I'm sure your deputies in working with them, you, you'll learn a lot. You'll learn a lot from them, you'll learn a lot from their families. Oh yeah, and there's so much involved with law enforcement, and for them to come in and learn a lot about law enforcement, and then as you um, become engaged with the, uh, with, the, with the young adults and the kids involved in their families, uh, you develop these relationships and you learn more. And uh, that's the whole key about being engaged with people. You have to establish uh, that rapport and that builds into relationships, and you get to know each other, and you can accomplish so much um, when you build these relationships. You can do so much for the community. Well, you know, I, I, I think our athletes would tell you that it's really all about being able to accept and include somebody who's different than you. And if you can look broader than just disabilities, you can look to race or gender or socioeconomic or political party even. Um, it's, it's really great when people who are uh, have some differences that normally divide them come together and work as one. And that's what Special Olympics is, and that's why when we can take the disabled population and the non-disabled population, put them together on a unified team, it's really a great experience for everybody.